Hello everybody, Irish Griffith, Code Enforcement Officer here with the weather warming up and all the snow melting off. All of the little junkyard type of yards and automobile graveyard type of yards are coming available for, for viewing. Um, I would say for your viewing pleasure, but realistically speaking, the reason I'm addressing it is because I'm getting multiple calls and it's not the pleasure of everybody to see those items. So I want to give you a quick little overview about automobile graveyards and about junkyards. An automobile graveyard is a, an any yard that has more than two unregistered, uninspected vehicles. Now, we don't take um, hobby cars into consideration if it is a real hobby car that's in a garage and being worked on. Um, you can't just call the six old uh, Civics and and escorts in the yard, hobby cars, it does not work that way. But that having been said, I'm getting a lot of calls with reports of people that have six, seven, eight vehicles in their yard. Now those vehicles, we don't count just trailers. If it is motorized, we include it. So cars, trucks, if it has a motor and it goes on its own, RVs, tractor trailers, those things are all included in the automobile graveyard. Now, this also counts for those that might have stockpiles of automotive parts in their yard. You can't dismantle it all over your yard and figure because the chassis is gone, it's not a car. Um, if you have those items, I'm going to highly recommend you look into maybe either building a garage to stash those items away in or perhaps it might be time to redeem some of that scrap metal cost, but be assured your neighbors will be giving me a call um, if you happen to be the one that has those things. And if you're the neighbor, my phone number is 698-1101, dial extension 124. My administrative assistant will take that information and, and I will look into it. Now, junkyards become a little more peculiar to cover. So typically when you're dealing with a junkyard, people think about that and you think about the old scrap yards, but that's not what the state defines it as, nor is that what I have to uh, enforce the regular ordinances on. What I have to go after for enforcement purposes is you're allowed to own things, you just have to own them neatly. So if your yard is covered with various odds and ends whether they be old bike parts, um, bags of trash, construction debris, anything that is not organic and not currently used or usable, that would mark your yard as a junkyard, an illegal junkyard. So what I'm asking is for you to take a look around when you're outside, clean and tidy up, neaten up because again, neighbors, always report these things because it's not what people want to see in their neighborhoods and honestly there's a lot of rural area in this town a lot of people surviving off of well water people don't want to take the risk of any of these chemicals being washed into their well accidentally so with that said the enforcement on those is that i would visit make a plan whether it's register and or remove certain vehicles whether it's you know remove stacks of sorted goods and then organize the rest. We'll make a plan, we'll make a timeline, and then you have to stick to it because otherwise I have to escalate my enforcement to the select board and go before the courts to try and get permission to clean it up for you and that is the last thing we want because then we have to put a lien on the property. And I recognize that some things that are out in these yards are important to people. And although maybe in the eyes of the people passing by or the neighbors, these things don't have value. I recognize that when people have possessions, even if they're thrown out in the yard, um, sometimes they have some sentimental value and I don't wanna be put in a position where the town has to dispose of something that you would prefer to keep. So I'm asking you all very nicely, take a look around. If you have any questions about your own yard, you're certainly welcome to give me a call. Um, if you're trying to work with me, then we will work as long as it takes to get things right. I just do not want to have to escalate anything. I would rather work with you, get it all straightened out, and have everybody happy. And that way I can close the book on that and go back to doing other things. 
So if you need me, again, you can give us a call at Town Hall, 207-698-1101, dial extension 124. You'll reach Terry, and she will take all your information. Thank you.